Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Random Gear Peking. Last episode I uploaded, you guys gave me some amazing feedback, and I really appreciate that. It means a lot to know that you guys are enjoying these as much as I am enjoying making them. Now, before we get into this, I want to bring this up as well. A lot of you guys left a comment on the last one that it actually might not be a bad idea to put an epilepsy warning at the start of these videos. Now, once I get into this and I start spinning the wheel, you'll notice that if I spin it quickly, there's a lot of pretty bright flashing colors quickly, so I can see how this could be a health concern. So I'm going to do some research on how to actually do like an official warning type thing, but I thought I should bring this up from now on. If you do have epilepsy, be aware that this video could potentially be dangerous. Alright, you know how this works. Gonna start off by first of all rolling for our first combat style. Gonna be melee very narrowly. Okay, time for the first helmet of the first setup. Looks like it's going to be a red party at. The fashionscape is real. Okay, time for the play body. Hopefully we get something good to go with my freaking party at. Get the Varax top, not too bad. And how about a decent pair of plate legs to go with it? Granite legs, this is gonna be wonky as hell. Okay, time for the melee weapon. We've got a lot of choices on this one. Gonna be the Abyssal Bludgeon. This is actually my first time using this weapon ever. And lastly, time for the spec weapon to go along with the bludgeon. We get the Dragon Mace. This is gonna be a really fun setup. Okay, good luck, sir. Got a fight here against my man, No Safe. I have never ever used the Abyssal Bludgeon before. Uh, I know for a fact that the special attack is literally awful, so... We'll see how this ends up going. Oh my goodness. Off to a really bad start. Oh, left click is turned off. Let me fix that quickly. Uh, left click where available. Good. That's what we need. Alright, good luck, man. Now, we do have a Dragon Mace. Dragon Mace is literally amazing. I think I can pop close to a 50, so... I was gonna go for it there. Not yet. Oh, this thing's pretty accurate. See you later! Oh, man, that would've been such a sick start to the fight. Didn't quite get it, though, unfortunately. Oh, my God, I am super low HP. Did I not eat food? I swear I just saved up. What the heck was that, man? My defense bonuses are so low, man. I mean, the Broussard's okay, but we're wearing granite legs on a party hat, so this definitely could be better. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Man... Why do people gotta be like that? Don't PJ, dude. I had a real shot on the PK there. And now you ruined it. Alright, here we go. Come on. We need a Venge combo. Oh, this is it. This is totally it? Oh, good fight, man. The 39 spec. First kill with the first setup. Got a Kraken Tentacle. Holy shit. That is a nice PK to start the episode off. I like this setup already, man. Okay, good luck there, Hilt. We are fighting. I think we fought her earlier, so I got a couple of fights lined up here with my friends. It's actually very late at night right now. It's like 1 in the morning. I'm trying to get this video done, so finding fights may be a bit of a struggle. So if I fight the same people over and over again, that would explain why. Anyways, that first clip I recorded earlier actually was on stream. I decided to kind of stop that because I streamed one of these episodes once... It just, I don't know, it doesn't work right. I just can't commentate it properly, and uh, you could definitely tell in that one video, so I decided to wait, do it off stream, my commentary should be better. Quit freaking hitting me so much. It seems like my defense wouldn't be so bad because of the Varax top, but it really, it's just, granted legs are like rune-ish status. I mean, I'm just freaking getting torn apart. And of course, the party ad is nothing, so. Oh, come on, bludgeon. Do something for me. Fight me next. Okay, so you know what? Maybe we won't have problems with fights here. Oh my freaking god. You'd think I wasn't wearing armor right now. Okay, here we go. It's my turn. Turn on the ramp. You good? I'm freaking great. I'm actually doing awful, but I'm great. Shark to brew to carambuam as, a, as like a massive eating combo. So I'm risking it for the biscuit. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I just fucking killed her on a 45 spec, but it's a double kill. Oh my word! This dragon base is nuts. Wow, okay. I'm gonna call that 2-0 simply because I'm the one that did the KOing there. Wow, that was freaking insane! 
Okay, got a fight against this guy. Kind of wasn't ready there getting the torture now, but uh, his name is From Varrock. That is a freaking sweet. N I'm gonna die already. Oh my god. Anyway, his name is From Varrock, which is a really cool name, man. I really, really like that. Going to presume he's got an Armital God Sword, so gonna eat up a little bit there. I mean, if you can see D Skim and something other than Age. Boing! So I just had a 42 with the Abyssal Bludgeon. I don't know what its max hit is. It's pretty similar to a whip, so I'm going to guess somewhere in the 40s approximately. So that is ridiculous. This is fun to PK with. Not because it's like crazy good or anything. Like it's not bad, but more than anything else, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just so different, you know? It's like one of the coolest looking things in the game in my opinion. It quite literally is like the spine of the goddamn Abyssal Sire. Like how badass is that? This fight is going nowhere fast right now. Okay, here's what happened. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Oh my freaking god. Oh my lord in heaven. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> the, oh, I can't even, I, I, English, I, what? This D-Mace is a freaking savage, man. That was like the greatest setup ever done. Okay, so really quick question for you guys. Um, obviously, there's only three combat styles to choose from, so naturally they're going to double up once in a while. Uh, does it really bother you guys if I do, like, two melee setups, for example? Because it's fine with me. Although, it obviously, you know, it is nice to try and, you know, do one of each combat style. But I guess kind of just leave your thoughts down below. And with that, let's, lo let's roll for real here on the second setup of the episode. Gonna be range. Okay, time for the helmet. Coincidentally enough, I do not have the third age range coif on there anymore. For the actual range setup, <laughs> Carol's coif, that'll do. Plate body time. Looks like we're gonna get the bla- oh, Son of a bitch. Please give me some good plate legs to use or something. I mean, this is just- I- this is just stupid. Oh my god, this is gonna be like the most expensive setups I've ever used. We get the crystal bow to go with it. I mean, this is just, I don't even know. How about a good spec weapon to give me an actual shot at a kill? The Vandos God Sword, that's actually pretty solid. This is literally despicable. Honestly, favorite thing about this series is that it's like starting to get a little bit known. People don't even ask anymore. Like, I came up behind this guy wearing this. And I say, good luck, and he just says, alright, good luck. Doesn't even question. He just, you know, you're gang. Hey, this guy knows what's up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, um, I may or let, I, I honest to God may, I may as well be wearing no armor right now, as you can see. I'm gonna get destroyed this entire fight. I'm gonna get wrecked the entire fight, okay? My, oh my God. My only shot here is if I can just somehow get some damage going Try and get a BGS back off. Like, I, I don't even know. This this setup l actually might be impossible. I feel like every time I've done this series, I've, you know, I've had, like, a shot to get a kill. We may have... You just whip spec me. We may have reached the point of sheer... Wait, why is he eating so much? I have a fucking crystal bow. I... Okay, some people really confuse me. I don't even understand. All right. Okay, buddy. Okay. All right. Hey, okay. All right. I get it. You can hit me hard with your little whipperino, all right? I don't even know what to do with this. This is just fucking... Okay. I mean... Well, Christ! <sighs> this is gonna be rough. Okay. Gotta fight against this guy. Good luck, sir. Um, so... I fought a dh -er earlier. Couldn't really hit him much. Now I'm fighting a dh -er that also has a rune kite shield on. I mean, this is just, <laughs> like I've said, there are some setups where I think I, pr wow, this guy is ballsy. I mean, to be fair, he could have easily killed me with that, but hot diggity damn, dude, you went for an early spec. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat again. And the problem is, like, I can't even get him to low HP, you know what I mean? Oh, look at the crystal moment. I can't even, like, get him to low HP, you know what I mean? It's... This thing is literally so inaccurate that I'm never going to get him. <laughs> you know what? Stop complaining, Jordan. You got this. You've gotten really weird kills with other setups before. You can... Okay. Well, you know. This is just... Okay. 
here we are in the wide open level 14 wilderness because i am fighting a level 92 sorry a level 112 honestly i consider this perfectly fair given my current like setup that i'm working with i consider this 100 percent fair and honestly one of the few ways i might have a shot at a kill so when he asked me to fight i was like you know what i'm gonna fight this dude maybe i could actually kill him no please no <laughs> I want to I wanna survive so I actually have a chance at a kill. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, see, his defense is lower than, like, you know, the rest of the boys that I've been... Didn't want to do that there. Did not have piety on. Did not have piety on. I'm glad I didn't spec. Really glad I didn't spec there because didn't have piety on. My crystal bow is actually hitting this dude a little bit here and there. Alright, I'm ready for the spec. I'm ready for the spec. Crystal bow, please hit. I'm going for it, dude. I don't care. <gasps> whack him, whack him, whack him, whack him, whack him. Oh, son of a biscuit. It's I. It's cool. It's a cool. I feel like I kind of gave it my best shot I could right there. So now all I have to do is try and rely on some sort of venge to whack combo. Like right now. Okay. See, the whack is actually. <gasps> oh, I, I tried to venge there. It would have been sick. Bing. Okay, see, I'm actually doing pretty well right now. I got him on the ropes a little bit. <gasps> I freaking killed him. Oh my god, good fight. Oh my god, I got a freaking kill with this setup. My target? Yeah, I better get out of here, dude. Please don't PJ me. Oh my god, I actually got a kill. I'm so happy. I mean, it was a Venge combo, so it wasn't that cool, but... Fuck it, man. I'm still happy with it. We pulled off a kill with this disgusting setup. Albeit a level, like, 112. I, th I still think it's pretty respectable given what I'm working with here. Time for the third and final setup. Let's end this episode on a good note. Looks like we're going to get melee again. This kind of brings up that issue from before on the previous wheel, but I'm going to roll with it. Okay, so I did modify the wheel slightly from the original melee wheel, so we should get some kind of different stuff in here. Going to start... Okay. This is going to be a great freaking, oh my god. Bando's chest plate to go with it. We are going to be balling. How about the plate legs? Looks like it's going to be a Carol skirt. I almost got Bando's tassets. That would have been an insane setup. Okay, time for the weapon. I did remove the bludgeon from the wheel. This time we get the Zamorakian spear. And the spec weapon to top it all off. We are going to get... I'm not gonna kill a fucking soul. You're darn right, you'll attack. Okay, good luck. She's gonna stay there, and I'm like, you don't think I skull, do I? Do you see this third age foam? Third age is so weird. Like it, it doesn't protect over anything. As you can see, I have to use a glory and rune gloves because if I had a fury or a or a barrels gloves on, they would both protect over the full helm. Like that's that's so weird to me that how. I mean, it's not like it's, like, junk armor either. That's If I had, like, a party hat on that used to be expensive, it's understandable that you would risk it, but, I mean, it's still a piece of armor. Spec? <laughs> please. Please. Like, I'm going to tell you what my spec is. You're going to find out in just a little bit here. Yeah. I need... One thing I need to get my ha the hang of, I guess I still don't really have it down yet, uh, per se, is using the F keys. I mean, of course I use F1 for specking, but, like... I really try and get my F keys down for, um, RM. Well, I mean, sure. But it's not even over yet. You're acting like I'm not gonna kill you. A rematch. Oh, goodness. I kind of deserve to die there, to be honest. I ate a carom bois before a shark because I misclicked, and that, that was ugly. That was really ugly. Why is this person hitting me so much? My bad. You are pretty low HP. You're actually 73 hit points right now. <laughs> the meme. Okay. I'm pretty much out here. Oh my god, I should freaking debo her right now. You didn't even let me hit you and you put your armor back on. Are you freaking... Ugh. Oh no, I am kind of dying already. Oh, I wasted a carom bomb. I misclicked. Shit, that's not good. Okay, we are fighting Capone, who is a dh -er, as you can see. The setup didn't go too well before. I just had a couple of fights where nothing really happened. With my setup, the Dark Bow just... I mean, it can still hit hard, but... Oh, God. Accuracy-wise, the Dark Bow, it just... You can't expect it to do well, so... If I happen to pull something off... 
That's a big poke. That was a nice poke. If I happen to pull off something crazy with the Dark Bow, that would make me super freaking happy. Honestly, one of like it would be my favorite kill ever. I, I'm just envisioning this Dark Bow. Oh god, with my freaking weird ass setup on. It'd be, it would be the funniest clip ever, honestly. Oh, the 10. Okay. I gotta be more careful with these DHers, man. Oh, I should have spec there, but I wanted... Uh, I don't want to waste it. I feel like if I don't have Eagle Eye on, I'm not going to hit shit. So I don't want to waste it. Oh, I should have spec there. Son of a... Okay, I'm making mistakes right now. I am making all freaking kinds of mistakes. 55 hit points. Uh... Oh my. Oh, I got so excited. I thought she was actually going to leave her armor off. I got so freaking excited. Why am I so bad? Oh, if I can please just get a kill. This this setup is an absolute struggle right now. I think I've died like three or four times. I just keep on buying more stuff because I really, really would like to get a kill. Or at least get like close to a kill or something crazy happens before I end this because I've just never, uh, I don't know, I've never been a big fan of ending these kind of videos on like a super down note. So come on, man. We gotta have something crazy happen here. We gotta just get like a big old Debo, just something fucking nuts right now, man. Oh, I got a good feeling this this guy's shield is gonna make him like super tanky, so this might be a bit of a struggle to like get some hits rolling, but I think we can do this to be honest. Come on, Zamorak and Spear. The setup is a little weird. Um, I might have mentioned this earlier, but protecting third age is very, very difficult. Uh, if I bring Barrow's Gloves or a Fury, I would not have kept my helm, which is weird because it's understandable, you know, you can't, you know, if you, ri if you risk something like a party hat, it doesn't really, it's not really worth anything. But say, for example, okay, do you guys see these freaking zeros? <laughs> oh my god. I haven't said anything, there we go, finally something's happening, god damn. That was so many freaking zeros at once. Are you specking again? Wow, okay. That is very rare you see somebody... <clears throat> it is very rare you see somebody double spec like that, so... Wow, I was definitely a bit surprised by that. Okay, 54. Should go for the dark bow, shouldn't I? Did he eat? Ah, uh, he's gonna definitely eat now. Oh, man. I'm just, I'm so... See you later. In an 8 8. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> the setup is so jokes, man. I literally can't even. <gasps> Go on! Oh, I poked him, but not hard enough. God dang it. That was really close. Go on. Oh, goodness. I'm getting some solid Venge combos, just not quite hitting hard enough. His armor's off. His armor's off. Go on! I don't even know what just freaking happened, but I killed myself again. Okay, that's like my fifth death. I'm sorry. We gotta freaking call it there. This setup was not easy to work with. Alright, well that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. You know, I'm kind of considering renaming the series. It's more or less like dress up PKing in a way. It literally is so much fun when I get to like pie third age and shit. Because normally you would never think to like own a piece of third age. When I get to buy it and like use it in a fight, it's really, really cool. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I've been having a great time making these videos. So as long as you guys enjoy them, I will keep on making them. Feel free to hit that like button down below to show me that you guys are enjoying it. And I will see you all later.